One championship, one on Prime Video, three, Lineker versus Andrade. So we have John, Hands of Stone Lineker, the 32-year-old Brazilian UFC, long long in the tooth, UFC vet. Uh, Lineker's uh, five foot three. His pro record stands at 35 and nine. Damn, that's really good. Uh, he is... Uh, <clears throat> After losing his final fight in the UFC, a split decision to Corey Sanhagen, he is now 4-0 under the one championship banner uh, going into this weekend. Fabricio Vondraj, Wonder Boy, also out of Brazil, 25-year-old. He's 8-2 and two as a pro, so it's sort of on the other end of the professional uh, spectrum here. Uh, let's talk about this fight, guys. It's going to be a great little uh, featherweight fight between... These two Brasileiros. Mark, why don't you go first? All right, so the favorite here is John Lineker. He is minus 225. Fabricio D'Andrade is plus 185, which is honestly fairly close for a guy who's like somewhat unproven in Andrade. So it shows you how dangerous he is. Um, the boy John Lineker, who is still only 32 years old, by the way. I heard you call the man long in the tooth. He ain't that old. I know, yeah. Um, 35 and 9. He's got miles. A lot of fights. Yeah, a exactly. lot of fights. But That's like, what I meant. He's got some time still. I'd love to see him back in the UFC one day, to be quite honest. But uh, he gets ready here for his first defense of the one bantamweight championship. He took it, obviously, by putting out Bibiano Fernandez back in March and will now jump to the complete other end of the spectrum here in terms of opponent. And he goes from fighting a 42-year-old legend of the sport to fighting a 25-year-old wonder boy. Uh, with an 8-2 and two MMA record. Uh, and not to mention from a guy who is primarily a grappler to a guy who's all about the Muay Thai. So much different matchup for Lineker. Uh, it's always interesting when he's matched up with a guy who's going to want to stand with him. Because <clears throat> it's just like, you know, Lineker's like, oh, we're going to stand here and throw strikes at each other? Like, perfect. So, you know, the contrast here in this one is going to be more about the distance. Like, Lineker, Lineker will want to crash inside with his controlled blitzes i'll call them and andrade is going to want to keep that space he's going to want to make lineker pay every time he steps in he is a very dangerous counter striker he's got great step in knees you can find a, a couple of his last wins the finishing sequence started with a, with a knee as his opponent stepped in to the body um he is three inches taller than lineker he's going to have a five inch reach advantage on lineker so the man is live here he, he has punishing kicks he has punishing knees and that knee is interesting when you have a guy who kind of barrels in, sometimes tucking the head to wing punches like Lineker does. You know, that that knee to the body or to the head is in play. Um, so it'll be interesting. In the end, I do think Lineker's pressure is too much for most anyone these days. I think eventually Andrade is just going to be so crowded and Lineker is not going to go away that his game starts to crack a little bit because he, he likes that space, having that fluidity, and, and Lineker is not going to give it to him. I think Lineker won't let him breathe. Body shots start to add up, and eventually Lineker gets him out of there with something big. I will say round three KO for John Lineker to defend his shiny new belt. Talk to me, Omar. I, uh, I want to believe that John Lineker is going to be John Lineker in this fight, right? Just like Mark said, he's going to be winging a lot of punches. Um, he likes to duck down and throw big hooks. Um, I think the size difference is going to play a big factor, though, I would imagine. Um, the length here could present a problem when it comes to Lineker's ability to actually land those winging punches. If the man is as good at Muay Thai as one would imagine, there's going to be a lot of timing involved in this fight and a lot of ability for this man to keep this distance, this fight at distance. Um, that would include a lot of teeps. That would include a lot of jabs, uh, a lot of body kicks, which it does seem that he, you know, he does timing of the knees will also be important especially directly up the middle whether to the face or to the sternum um i just think there's a lot more opportunities here for fabricio to get things done than i do for lineker um the reality of the situation though is lineker is a one-shot kill kind of guy if he catches you on the right spot he could definitely put deandrage out but i think this is going to go deandrage's way i'm going to go with deandrage by decision I'm going nice. to agree with Omar this time. Uh, hey. I like the attribute difference of uh, Dandraj over Lineker. Lineker's going to be a little wild in there, as he always is. 
And I think that this time he's going to get caught by one of those knees coming in. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to say Andrade is going to... Uh, he's going to win by a decision only because Lineker is so damn durable. Uh, but he's going to catch him with some big stuff. So I see... <clears throat> I see a UD for Andrade. I'm going to say unanimous decision. 